What if you're laid off during the pandemic and there's a family waiting for you to get your career back up on track? And especially if you have over 20 years experience, there are not that many job opportunities out there. Today, we're going to show you how Andrado is making a comeback during the pandemic. And he got a job offer as the executive director in a tech company. Hi guys, this is Dr. Nancy Lee, a director of products from drnancylee.com. I help people transition from worker bee to a product manager and business leader. To learn about the most effective way of landing a product manager job, you should subscribe to this channel and turn on the red bell button so that you'll be notified every time we post a new video every Wednesday. Make sure you smash the blue like button so that I have more motivation to make more free trainings like this. Today, we had the pleasure to interview Andrado. Actually, Andrado got like a executive director offer during the pandemic. She has a lot of top secrets to share with all of you guys. Hi, Andrado, how's it going? Thank you, Nancy. Thank you for having me here today. Awesome. Can you introduce yourself very quickly? Sure. Uh, my name is Eduardo Cocosa. I am a senior director of product Mar marketing now at Constant Contact. I have uh, extensive product ma management, product market experience, uh, you know, developing a common vision, uh, launching products and scale such products uh, with uh, cross-functional teams during the last, you know, 10 to 12 years. And some of those products have achieved over $100 million in revenue. Awesome. Yeah, Andrado, today we more focus on how exactly you got like amazing offer during the pandemic. As we all know, now the pandemic is, is shifting how people hire uh, the top talent and especially getting an executive director offer during the pandemic, in my opinion, is a super challenging, also very outstanding. Congratulations. So can you share with us how you started the job hunting journey and where you were before where you are right now? Yeah, thank you. Uh, I think the challenges at the beginning were the you know lack of opportunities to meet people in a one-to-one -one basis or in events to network to talk about job opportunities to be able to present yourself. So luckily, I already came from a background of doing Unify communication collaboration meetings products. So know how to you know network your way through, get your message across um, in a very concise manner that you can communicate with people, network with people, interview with people, and follow through uh, everything remote. I think those are what the major challenges, but very important in order to you know network, interview during the, the pandemic. Now we fast forward, right? I was onboarded. I met everybody, my team and the, my leaders on the company remotely, and already uh, not only growing the business, but also uh, hiring some people in the company as a director level. So she was very excited for a very accelerated period of time, transition from somebody that was looking for my next challenge for somebody that is trying to hire somebody else to come in the company. <laughs> That's awesome. So let me understand the timeline a little bit. You started job hunting in March or April, right? That was at the deepest time of the pandemic. Correct. Yes, it was the deepest time. Uh, there are some job opportunities that uh, I was starting to have interviews that are very exciting, was moving very fast. Everything stopped. Everything was slowed down and really stopped. And was, I'm going to talk a little bit about the secrets, right? I was having the right mindset about this because everything stopped. And then eventually not by only outbound opportunities that companies are targeting people as networking, but also we start to attract. Lots of opportunities start to show up again in my way until you were able to manage interview like three or four and land in the one that uh, I, I had I had the most interest that I thought was a long-term fit. That's awesome. Yeah, we do need to dive into all those top secret details right now. Okay, so can you share with us the top secret you had? You mentioned earlier when you got started, there are not many job openings and you don't know how to go networking because pandemic suddenly hit us, all of us. So what's the top secret for you to land a job as an exec directors? Yeah, you know, in a very simple way, right? The first one is mindset, which I can explain a little thing about it. The second one is coaching. The third one is having the right strategy. Uh, and fourth is massive action, right? do and how to do it. I think you're very good about giving a lot of hints uh, in, in the details of how to do interview or program management, the words you need to use, the type of questions you should be preparing for, but it really is a strong mindset it starts there. And if you want, I can expand a little more what I mean with a mindset. Yeah, please. What do you mean by strong mindset in job hunting? 
Well, so in my case, Nancy, like you know, and I think you too, was a job hunting during a, a very challenging time, right? Yeah. So I think to have the right mindset uh, and is knowing that uh, when you're going to the storm, right, is you know the, that uh, eventually that will, there is going to be an end of it, right? It's exactly. like a season of the year. If you're going to the winter, eventually you know that spring and summer you come in. So putting those things in perspective are very important. And especially in, high, in, in a mindset, uh, use you know, a little bit of uh, a couple of things that are important, four or five things that are very important. Gratitude, right? I think having a mindset of visualization, what the new job means to you, what the new position means to you, and have the feeling that you already have achieved it, visualizing it, right? And if you cannot visualize it yet, use a visualization to something that already happened to you that you're very grateful to have and intertwine those feelings because in your heart, your mind, you know, you should not be different. If you think about something you want to achieve the same way you think you already achieved it, you can create that feeling of right uh, gratitude right away. So you start in gratitude, then feed your mind with, uh, you know, the right materials for problem management. I think you need to focus, right? In case you get a problem management or problem marketing, you're feeding my mind and everything about those two topics. Mm -hmm. In terms I of- I think your, that you were, yeah. what, even before you got job offer, you constantly learning about product management, product marketing, so you're on top of the games, right? Co correct. Like podcasts, your classes, other materials about it, what's latest in the mind, or having your cases, what I have done, what you, you know, was uh, well, uh, you know, what you, I think, what are the successes you had translating those stories, what you have could have done better, right? All that information is important. It's more the functional knowledge, it needs to be fresh in mind, right? Yeah. I think that the third one between above gratitude and mindset, right, was the body, right? So you need to exercise or, you know, move or walk or meditation or yoga, anything that it, keep your mind, your body also moving during this period of time, especially because you're so much at time at home, it is very important, right? Keep you active in some way. This to us is very important for me. Yeah, Finding I remember a, when yeah, we started ahead. our coaching class, we're both walking around yes. the blocks when we did coaching. Yes. Exercise was awesome. I, I, I take classes where I take a podcast as much as I can. I'm walking in the morning in the park or in the end of the day because it just keep your mindset in a different way. And it's therapeutic, right? It's almost like a meditation that you're doing. You help you to relax and focus what's important. Yeah. Uh, the other one, you know, in terms of preparation, I think the, the fourth one is role model. So finding people that already have done it right, like you, right, they came, you know, with a deep expertise and a technical background, moved into product management, found the different job positions, grew in the position, but also hiring, so finding people that really had done it, so coaching with people that uh, can be role models for you, that just not do coaching for a living, but have done it with other people, I think that's very important, right, and the last one is, once you decide, have all those tools for you, right, Act. You really need to try it. You need to work hard. That doesn't come, you know, it's having the right strategy, but you need to work uh, towards your goals. Exactly. Yeah, I think all those four steps are very critical, especially actually the beginning. I'm glad that you, you touched up on about the mindset. I also have a morning ritual as well. I do meditation, which I share those meditation links in our Slack channel and imagine what would the future look like. Then you move close to it. And on top of that, of course, learning all the strategies, and the mindset and also the knowledge of our product management. So it's ready to please go. I'm glad we are, uh, we, we touch upon something and most people do not talk about, which is mindset. Yes, it is so important going through those those phases, right? Because it's just a preparation. If you put things in perspective and you know the challenge you have, but those are the, the things that keep you going despite of the challenges that you, you put your things in perspective. That's very Exactly. Important. Can you touch more about your networking secrets? You mentioned at the beginning, there are not that many opportunities. And then suddenly so many inbound leads or outbound leads. What's your networking strategy? Yeah, so I uh, and even I think I remember we discussed that. Uh, I was the using more the sniper approach rather than machine gun approach, right? So, uh, so it was a kind of, uh, uh, once you know, uh, I knew the kind of functions, and the type of companies they want to work with were there, right? I use my networking approach, target those companies, but not only at people that work on those companies, friends, right? Uh, colleagues, uh, former bosses, 
right? And people that uh, like you, right, the mentors that could give me a reference or a referral, somebody that I can talk on those companies. Mm -hmm. Those are very important during this time. So I, I say that every job is an incredible opportunity, not for the contributions you can do for the customers and for the for the company itself, but knowing people, right? So reaching out to your broader network, we say, look, I'm looking for a different position because of that. That's who I am. That's what I can do. Uh, do you know something in the specific area or the specific company that I can talk to for a, a virtual coffee, right? Or a 10 minutes conversation. It was amazing how many times people open the doors and I, I have conversation with people that when they're driving around in the day, five minutes conversation, which they could be a referee. I know I job position here. I know somebody's hiring, as somebody a position that's you know open up where I know who is hiring for the specific position and can refer your resume at least open a door, something a little more personal and be ahead just to be meeting your resume to application. I'm not saying that is the only way, but I feel that it was a, a much more going to say. Uh, personal way, which is more, more fun than to be meeting a resume and application to online system, right? Yeah, exactly. And which is our main methodology in the product manager interview bootcamp. When we go networking in general, I tell all my students, do not even apply for jobs without referral. And I do agree if you do the massive way of applying for thousands of jobs or just hitting many people with the same messaging, it's not personable the likelihood for them to refer you a job it just, it's very low. So I, I do agree with you. I do think that having a meaningful conversation for five minutes, 10 minutes, and then have someone else open doors for you, that's the most effective land job. Congratulations, uh, uh, Andrado. Now you're also our own role models. <laughs> yeah, thank you. I appreciate that. I'm very grateful for everything I learned there. It's a humble process, right? And really depends where you are. If you're looking for a better position, if you're mm -hmm. looking for a completely new job because you lost your job, right? Or you want to transition from industry. That's so important to know what the strategies suit you better, right? So in my area, I knew already, I came from product management. I have a lot of product marketing background. I just want to refresh the skills and be in touch with people that uh, you know are on top of their game to learn something new and take me to the next level, which I, I reach out to you, Nancy, and I really got those skills, thank you, right? But some people, they're looking for their first job. It's a different challenge, right? They, they're looking for to learn the methodology of product management means how to translate their personal experience in leading any kind of a project and contributing, doing research with customers and translating that to leadership skills and what could be a product management job, right? So those are important to know which strategy makes sense for you, depend where you are in your journey. Everybody is going to be in a different uh, level and they need to feel that they can match the right strategies to what they're trying to achieve. Yeah, exactly. As you said, for the younger folks, I recommend them to make a product portfolio to demonstrate something done before, how it's relevant to product management. And I lately made a video about product portfolio. I'm going to put the video up here so people can check it out. Uh, Andrada, I think you're also- in I watch your video, by the way, your product portfolio. Even after a job, take a job, I we keep watching your video of product portfolio. I, I love it, right? And when I say portfolio, it's not only the products you did, you, you are your portfolio, right? Yeah. Have your 30 seconds, your one minute and 30 seconds, your stories for functional leadership behavior. Those are very important. Be empathic about the people you're meeting with and be respectful for their time, something meaningful that they feel, I would like to work with that person. That they feel excited after the interview, they want more about you, right? And for sure, the products are important. The products you touch, what achievements you have done. But I think all this is your portfolio, yourself, what you bring in, and also your, your, your contributions, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Everybody needs to know how to see yourself as a product. Actually, you are presenting yourself, selling yourself the whole time. Right. Yes. Awesome. Uh, this one last question I want to ask you. I think very few people can answer the question very well regarding there's a difference between getting a job at the exactly direct level. I have lots of people reach out to me. They want to get their love, direct VP level jobs. And you are a few representative who actually successfully did that during the pandemic. Can you tell us when you interview for like high level job, executive directors, or VP type of jobs, what are the differences and how can they prepare better on top of the typical strategy. Yeah, I, I feel beyond right to the portfolio and products that have achieved. Uh, it's your executive presence, 
right? Mm -hmm. uh, meaning how you communicate, uh, summarize. They want to know that uh, uh, if they, uh, you know, whoever is interviewing with you came front in front of their bosses or the CEO of the company and know that you know how to communicate with the your, your, your audience. So knowing how to change your communication style depending on the audience. So that's what I say about executive presence, right? Be concise, be relevant to the point and be gone, right? And move to the next step. I think that's a very important one, communication style. The second one that's very important is not only have the ability to have led and have done it, is a, a, a ability to have motivate people to get work done, right? Because that's a part of the leadership is do yourself, but also know how to motivate people to have done. Because you know when you're going to be a more senior level that you'll be uh, working either managing or leading groups, and you need to know how to communicate and yeah, you know with that. The third one that's very important for executive style is uh, be a peaceful peacemaker, right? Or knowing how to, in terms of uh, 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 you know difficult situations and challenges, don't be shy to have uh, difficult conversations. But think about creating win-win situations where people will unite people inside of the company to achieve something, uh, find a common ground that's above and beyond yourself. It's selfless to your customers what you guys are trying to achieve, and have those examples that you are uh, somebody they contribute as a teammate team player and a collaborator in the group that's above and beyond your unique yourself uh right and, and being selfless about the leadership skills right i think those three characteristics are very important in terms of you're looking at executive uh role awesome thank you andrado i learned so much from you today <laughs> about how to get ahead and keep on uh climbing up the career ladder. That's awesome. Thank you. Yeah, uh, great. And I think there's another great information we can share with all the audience is that we have a secret society for all the product managers and existing product managers to learn people from like Andrado who had years of experience. I'm going to put those WeChat group and LinkedIn group icon up here so people can join those product management communities start networking today. Awesome. Great. Andrado, yeah, this is, thank you very much for your time. Do you have any last minute words to our audience? Yes, uh, how can I say, learn to persevere, endurance, but remember this is a marathon with a couple of sprints, it's not just a sprint. So take care of yourself beyond, you know, taking care of your job, your career. Awesome, thank you very much, Andrado. I'm gonna see you next time, see you guys, bye. Thank you.